Team keep it clean. What's going on? Happy Sunday. Oh, really, whenever you're watching this, happy whatever day it is whenever you're watching this. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if ain't nobody tell you thank you today, thank you. I appreciate you. Now, um, Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark is usually uh, very quiet on social media. Chuck Clark is usually very quiet um, when it comes to being one of the Ravens players. I know he sort of over the past couple of years, he took a, uh, a step forward as a leader on the Baltimore Ravens. But still, he, he's pretty quiet. Like, at least for me personally, like if I was to just hear Chuck Clark speak, but I didn't have any video with it, I probably wouldn't know who that was. And that's nothing against Chuck Clark. Uh, it's just that we don't really hear him talk like that. Like for Marlon Humphrey, you know who Marlon Humphrey is because he's always talking. Lamar Jackson, you know who Hollywood, I mean, <laughs> Lamar Jackson, you know who Lamar Jackson is because he's always talking. And you know who I'm about to say up next because... It already slipped out for Hollywood. Know who Hollywood is because he always talking too. But for Chuck Clark, um, he's not real big on talk. He just want to play. Um, so with him, it's the same thing with him in social media. Uh, so when he tweeted what he tweeted, and let's just read it word for word. Says, this and this shh. Keep it clean, Chuck. But anyway, he said, this can go one or two ways. It can go up. It can go down. So either way, I'm prepared. So a lot of people looked at that tweet. They were like, oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 what's Chuck Clark talking about? And I think that he was actually uh, at an amusement park. And he was getting ready to get go on a ride. And he said, it can go one or two ways. It can either go up or it can go down. So I don't know what park he was at. But anyway, no, but for real. But Chuck Clark... Um, I saw some people say, oh, well, this is about Jarvis Landry because Jarvis Landry has beef with Marcus Peters and it would be about accepting him in the locker room and how it can go. It can either go good or it can go bad. And when I saw that, I was like, I, nah, I don't think so. I don't. And you know what's funny? Something that um, is very interesting, I, and, and I, I've been accused of it myself, and then I've, I've even accused other people of it themselves, too. Um, with social media and a lot of the players and whatnot and, and the actions that they take via social media, I've been accused before of looking too far deep into it. Oh, man, it's not even that big of a deal. Oh, man, why would you make a video on that? Because, you, you know, people got to get their complaints in any way they can. Some people just wake up in the morning. Oh, you know what? Let me complain about this video that this guy made today. I'm going to make a complaint about it just because I'm upset. Why? I'm going to complain about this video that he made even though I'm, I'm watching it and I'm commenting on it. But if I was really that upset about it, why did I do that? But anyway, um, so I've been accused in the past of looking too deep into things that players may do on social media. But, I mean, look at, look at what Hollywood, he scrubbed all the Raven stuff off his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and look where he's at now. He's in Arizona. That boy's a cardinal. Changed the number and all. His third number in his career. Now he's going to number two. And apparently he said, hey, I want to be a number two receiver. He's like, I don't want all that attention. I'm getting ready to get some one-on-one -on -one matchups and all that. And, and you know what? With that article, I, I saw the quote. I saw the quote from the article that was floating around about Hollywood not wanting all the attention. And I was like, mm. I said, you know what? No, 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 no. Let, let me look at the actual article. So I looked the article up. And yeah, that was it. That's what he was saying. Um, but anyway, uh, so when you see things like that, the players do this stuff on social media, It a lot of times it can be telling. So with Chuck Clark, the timing of this was just very interesting to me because, of course, the reports came out a couple days, well, right at the beginning of the draft. I think it was, uh, I think it was uh, before the second round. Right before the second round, the report came out um, that Chuck Clark was expected to get traded. Um, so then he tweets this, and it's like, ah, that, that timing, man. I don't know, man. The timing. I think it would have something to do with that, but hey, who knows? Um, but then, uh, of course, them drafting Kyle Hamilton. That's big. That's, that's, like, that, that's, that's really big because they already had Marcus Williams. And then they drafted Kyle Hamilton. And it's like Chuck Clark 
it's, it's such a tricky spot, man, because, again, Ravens, like, right now at this point in the offseason, Ravens just have me all kinds of confused. I, I do not know what they are going to do. I don't. I just don't know what they're going to do. Um, because we talked about all the, the wide receiver stuff. We'll see what happens with that. I don't know what they're going to do there. I mean, the expectation would be for them to bring in a veteran because that's the norm. But we'll see. Um, but this with Chuck Clark, he is obviously the guy that has the green dot. He's the guy that calls the plays. But, you know, they don't want Chuck Clark to have the green dot forever. Who else are they going to give it to? Well, I know there's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of uh, excitement and whatnot about Kyle Hamilton having a green dot in the rookie minicamp. I know everybody saw the videos and stuff, the green dot on the back of his helmet. They're like, right, hey, look, he's calling plays. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But I wouldn't expect him to have a green dot uh, for the Ravens defense, even if Chuck Clark is traded. Because, and not saying that he couldn't do it, but for Ravens, I don't think they would put all of that responsibility on a rookie. Even on a simplified defense, because I, I expect it to be a lot more simple than uh, Wings defense, but I don't I wouldn't expect them to put all of that on a rookie. Like for a rookie to control and call out the defense and whatnot. If Chuck Clark is traded, then I would expect that to go to uh, Marcus Williams. He's young, but he's a veteran. This will be his sixth year in the league or fifth, fifth or sixth year in the league. I, I forget. But. I would expect it to go to him. I wouldn't expect it to go to Patrick Queen because um, Patrick Queen, he he was struggling a lot last season. And, and he was struggling with the assignments that they gave him. So I wouldn't expect them to be like, all right, Patrick Queen, you struggle with the assignments that we gave you. So here you go. Run a defense. I, I wouldn't expect them to do that. And hopefully with this new defense, again, hopefully it simplifies stuff and everybody can just get good at doing their job. Before they start trying to do all this other stuff. Uh, and hopefully everybody doing good at their job. They can complement each other and just make, make things run a lot smoother. And of course, health. Health is one of the biggest things. Health is one of the biggest things. Uh, so that hopefully will take care of itself. But they're not going to give it to, they're obviously not going to give it to a defensive lineman. They're, Josh Bynes, that's another candidate, but I wouldn't expect them to give it to him either. Because that would be more switching. Okay, uh, Chuck Clark, get, okay, Josh Bynes getting out. Of the, I, I just wouldn't expect him to give it to him either. Because I don't expect him to be on the field 24-7. If somebody's going to have a green dot, I would expect it to be somebody that's always going to be out there. So Marcus Williams would be the candidate for me if, if, if something happens with Chuck Clark. Marcus Williams, they're not going to give it to a corner. Uh, but I, I, you know if a corner could do it, Marcus Peters could surely do it. He would be the one that could surely do it, but I don't expect him to give it to him. I expect him to give it to somebody who has freedom to move about a bit. So, again, a safety. And, and again, Chuck Clark, that was, he had freedom to move around, and he was, like, right at the nucleus of the defense. He played around the box a lot so he could talk to the linebackers, the corners, the safeties, the defensive line. He, he helped get everybody set up. Um, so that's why I wouldn't expect either corner to do it. Because they play their size of the field. So, uh, but Kyle Hamilton, uh, it, that would be an interesting one, but I just, I don't see it going down. But again, first, we, we got to figure out what's going on with Chuck. Are the Ravens going to trade him? Are they going to keep him? Like, what's up? And I, of course, we'll, we'll find all that out soon enough. Um, but if he was to be traded, that would change a lot. It would certainly change a lot, especially around the middle of the field. Uh, because that's where there are a lot of question marks in my eyes still uh, for the Ravens at linebacker. Now, I haven't got a chance to look at the undrafted linebackers that they, linebackers that they signed yet. We'll do that soon. But right now, your inside linebackers, uh, Patrick Queen, uh, Josh Bynes. Um, we'll see what happens with Malik Harrison. Um, so it's, it's a lot of question marks there, too. A lot of unknowns. Um, but, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with Chuck Clark. Uh, we, we, just, we, we don't know what's going on with Chuck Clark, man. So, this, it's, it's just a lot of confusion with that whole scenario right now. Um, is things going to change? Is he going to be shipped out? I know there have been a lot of people talking about the Giants. All these people have been talking about the Giants. Chuck Clark to the Giants. I'm like, wait, where that, where that come from? 
Like a lot, I've seen a lot of people talking about Chuck Clark to the Giants. Oh, Chuck Clark to the Giants for a pick in Kadarius Tony. Chuck Clark to the Giants for a pick in Darius Slayton. Yeah, oh, maybe it's because there was them rumors about their receivers. Them wanting to trade their receivers. Maybe that's where it started. So, I don't know. Then some people have been talking about Chuck Clark to the Seahawks, even though they, they got their two safeties. They got Jamal Adams and they got um or Quentin some. I, I forget the other safety's name. I can't remember. But... So I don't know, man. I'm just, I, I know this video was all over the place, but I feel like that's exactly where this Chuck Clark stuff is, all over the place. So we don't know if Chuck Clark is going to remain with the Ravens or if he's going to uh, be out.